Hello, hello. My name is Blossoms and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. And today we're going to do a talent showcase and a constellation overview of Chong Yun here, as well as give you guys some decent build suggestions for how you may want to build them if you are just getting this character here. Remember, these are all just suggestions. I haven't had a ton of time with the character, but I'm giving you my opinions based on what I see from the character and my knowledge of the game. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, even share if you're feeling so obliged. I always welcome the support for the channel. Without further ado, let's check out Chongyun, the Cryo Claymore user right here. And before we get into the actual talents, as you can see, when you ascend Chongyun, his little hidden substat here is going to be attack percent, which is pretty nice. I would have probably preferred something like cryo damage, but he might be a little bit better as a primary DPS. And we'll get into that later, but attack percent is something you definitely can't complain about. Moving on to his talents, we have his normal attack, Demon Bane. There's nothing too fancy here. It is your typical Claymore user stuff, and it scales pretty well. It doesn't scale as well as something like Razor, but it does still scale fairly decently on his normal attacks here. And then this is the uh, when you actually level it up. This is how that scales for those of you interested as well as the books that you might need, teachings of diligence here are what Trang Yun is going to want. And then showing off his normal attack here, we have his normal attack pattern. It's pretty fancy, nothing too crazy though, nothing we haven't really seen between Claymore users before. And then his charge attack is your typical spin to win stuff. As I said, nothing too crazy. Moving on to his first talent here, we have Spirit Blade, Chong Hua's Layered Frost. Chong Yun strikes the ground with his greatsword, causing a cryo explosion in a circular AoE in front of him that deals cryo damage. And then after a short delay, the cold air created by the cryo explosion will coalesce into a Chong Hua Frost Field, within which all damage done through normal charged and plunging attacks by sword, greatsword, and polearm wielding characters will be converted to cryo damage. And then these are the different skill attributes of that. It does some pretty decent damage, nothing crazy, but it does create this field for 10 seconds and has a cooldown of five seconds. So you're only waiting for five seconds on this cooldown. And then the duration here is just a duration that lasts when you go outside of the circle. As long as you're in the circle, the duration for the enchantment will continue. And it is important to remember that this ability does only work for sword, greatsword, and polearm wielding characters. That is very important when you're building your teams as to how you want to meld with Chongyun. So showing off his talent here, we've got his E. Pretty sweet, it creates a huge field, and then as you see my sword has some frost to it, and it's only going to do cryo damage in this field, same for people like Bennett and Xing Shou. However, people like Tartalia will not be receiving that buff because he's a bow user. And that even remains true in Tartalia's melee stance. This will continue as Hydro damage. And there are different interactions with that. Uh, just do keep that in mind. That is typically how it works. It overrides your physical damage as frost damage as long as you aren't a bow user or catalyst user. Moving on to Chong Yun's third talent here, we have Spirit Blade Cloud Parting Star. Performing the secret hand seals, Chong Yun summons three giant spirit blades in midair that fall to the earth one by one after a short delay. Exploding as they hit the ground, when the spirit blades explode, they will deal AoE cryo damage and launch enemies. Then this is the skill attributes here. For those of you who don't think this is very big, it is per blade here, that is important to know, and you can hit very hard with this elemental burst. Not to mention the fact that it only has a 40 energy cost, which is something we've only really seen on Geo characters before, though, so this is pretty incredible to have on a Cryo character because generating energy for him will be much easier. So to show off Chong Yun's little uh, ability here, we'll go ahead and put him in here and we can see how his elemental burst works. You'll see summons three big blades and they do some pretty solid damage there and you notice that it knocked everybody away. Moving on to Chong Yun's fourth talent here, we have Steady Breathing. Sword Claymore or Polearm wielding characters within the field created by Spirit Blade, Chong Hua's Layered Frost, have their normal attack speed increased by 8%. This is very important to note as it is going to basically flat out increase your DPS. Just do keep in mind your characters will be doing that cryo damage and that is important when you're building a team around Chong Yun to keep that in mind. This is an absolutely fantastic talent, but as long as you're keeping in mind you're going to be doing cryo damage, you'll do absolutely fine. And then moving on to the fifth talent here, we have Rhyme Chaser Blade. When the field created by Spirit Blade Chong Hua's Layered Frost disappears, another Spirit Blade will be summoned to strike nearby enemies, dealing 100% of Chong Hua's Layered Frost skill damage as AoE cryo damage. Enemies hit by this blade will have their cryo resistance decreased by 10% for 8 seconds, 
This is actually an incredible talent, especially if you're using Chong Yun, because of the fact that he's going to be allowing your team to deal cryo damage pretty much on any character whenever they want. And they're going to have their cryo resistance decrease by 10%, so you're just doing 10% more damage and attacking 8% faster if you're using the correct weapons. Moving on to his final talent here, we have his passive talent, Gallant Journey. When dispatched on an expedition and leeway, time consumed is reduced by 25%. Same thing as like Fischl and Bennett, only for leeway instead of Mondstadt. Very nice thing to have, especially now that you can send people out on expeditions while using them. And then moving towards the constellations here, Chongyun does have some really solid constellations, and I would really like to get him to at least constellation 2. However, I think he's still a great support and or main DPS even without them, but we'll go ahead and get into those. For the first one here, we have Ice Unleashed. The last attack of Chongyun's normal attack combo releases three Ice Blades. Each blade deals 50% of Chongyun's attack as cryo damage to all enemies in its path. That's pretty darn strong considering each blade is dealing 50% of his attack. That's really strong. That's an, an incredible um, constellation to have there. It's just going to make sure his DPS is actually going up, especially if you're building him as a main DPS. And then moving on to his second constellation, we have Atmospheric Revolution. Elemental skills and elemental bursts cast within the frost field created by Spirit Blade Chung, who has layered frost, have their cooldown time decreased by 15%. This is one of the best constellations on Chong Yun as this is going to be cooling down your team's skills by 15%, which is absolutely incredible. This is such a great support option. So even if you don't want to build Chong Yun as a mean TV DPS, you could build him as a support. And I would absolutely recommend using him if you have this constellation as this is just incredible. Moving on to his third constellation though, we have Cloud Burst. It just increases the level of Spirit Blade Cloud Parting Sky by three. Makes your elemental burst that much stronger. I've seen some videos, I believe Tenha did a video where he one phased um, Devalin, like a AR-50 Devalin with Chongyun. So it's definitely something to keep in mind when you're using Chongyun. He could be an excellent burst DPS. And then moving on to that fourth constellation, we have Chongyun regenerates one energy every time he hits an enemy affected by cryo this effect can only occur once every two seconds this is actually insane this considering the fact that his elemental burst only costs 40 energy the fact that you're going to be regenerating one energy all of the time while hitting people with cryo means you're just going to have his elemental burst constantly so c4 chongyun is even stronger than c2 chongyun you can see how the constellations make him a really strong unit um, he's definitely strong even without them, but with these constellations, he really goes up to the next level. Then moving on to that fifth constellation here, it increases the level of Spirit Blade Chongyun's Layered Frost by three, maximum level 15. We've seen this all before. And then moving on to that sixth constellation, Rally of Four Blades. Spirit Blade Cloud Parting Star deals 15% more damage to enemies with a lower percent of their max HP remaining than Chongyun. This skill will also summon one additional Spirit Blade, so you're dealing a lot more on your elemental burst here, which is important to note. And then if the enemy's health percentage is lower than yours, you're dealing 15% more damage overall, which is just fantastic. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. I, I wouldn't say this is the most important constellation. If you only get to C4, then I would 100% recommend you being A-OK -okay and not needing to go any further as you've already leveled up his elemental burst, which does all the burst DPS. And then you've also got the C4 that gives you that energy recharge. And I would say that's really all you need. But if you have C6, then, you know, go nuts, right? And then before moving on into the build suggestion portion of the video, we'll go ahead and go over his lore. You can go ahead and pause and read this if you would like. But um, there you go. As for artifacts for Chongyun, he's definitely an interesting character and I think he'll be much better once we get our own cryo bonus damage set. With the leaks that have come out, I think that leak set would probably be pretty good, but we'll have to wait till it comes out, obviously. But until then, I think you're kind of stuck between two sets. That being the Gladiators Finale set here, if you want to measure your main DPS, or something like the Noblesse Oblige set here is going to do well for you, increasing the damage of his elemental bursts. Especially if you want to be someone who is spamming that elemental burst, that is going to do you very well. Considering it's low energy cost, that's just going to be dealing huge amounts of damage, huge amounts of burst damage, and you can get it frequently, which is very important. So you might want to be building him towards something like crit rate with high crit damage as usual and cryo bonus damage. 
as that is going to give you the most effective damage even without you know building him for his elemental burst even if you're building him as a primary dps you still are probably going to want to get some solid crit rate and crit damage as well as cryo bonus damage and attack percentage and maybe as much energy recharge substats as you can i wouldn't recommend it as a main stat though so yeah summing up pretty much the only two sets you're at least five star sets that you're really going to want to focus on shangyun are the gladiator set and noblesse oblige you can mix and match those for the attack percent increase and the noblesse oblige damage kind of like what i do with my child currently however you could also just go full gladiator set if you want to make him your main dps which is also completely advisable and then for weapons i think without of doubt unless you've got a five star claymore your probably best in slot is going to be sacrificial greatsword the energy recharge it provides is excellent and then the fact that you get your skill back more often than not is very important because the area is so wide in which it affects you're hitting multiple opponents and then the chance for it proccing is just better um you could still go with something like the favonius greatsword of course if you want that energy recharge but if you want to just make him your main dps you don't really care about spamming his ult that much then obviously something like prototype animus is going to be your weapon but with that said as i said if you have a five star claymore that's probably going to be even better but i think the sacrificial greatsword here is probably the best for him otherwise also wanted to mention something really cool about Changyun is the fact that his cryo can be applied so often that if you pair him with hydro characters like Tartalia or Shing Shou, then you're going to be constantly freezing enemies and you can basically keep them permafrosted and it's actually hilarious. You can also make some cool shatter comps with him to where he's destroying the ice and that does a little bit of extra damage. For those of you who don't know, it isn't the best reaction in the game, but it is definitely there and that's important to note. But yeah, you can basically permafrost them with characters like Xing Shou, and it's funny enough that in the lore, uh, Xing Shou and Chang Yun are like best friends, and I think that's hilarious because they pair so well together. That's just a little tidbit I wanted to add, but we'll go ahead and get to the outro. Well, that's going to be it for Chang Yun, and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I think he's a pretty cool character, no pun intended. I really like his area of effect and how it works, however that does tend to limit you sometimes in your team building, like you can't really pair him with somebody like Razor because he's going to convert Razor's attacks to cryo damage instead of physical damage, which is going to gimp your attack, so you really have to be careful with his enchantment as that can really hurt you, but it could also really benefit you, and I think in the future I'm probably going to make a pretty cool team with Chong Yoon with Tartalian, some sort of uh, pyro character, maybe Jinyan or Bennett, and then have like a cool melt comp going on. I don't know, I really like the way he works though, and I really want to build him for that elemental burst spam, as you can deal absolutely stupid amounts of damage with it, and then the fact that you get it so often is even better, so I definitely want to go ahead and do that in the future. But for now, I've got him right here. Let me know what you thought of Chongyun in the comment sections below. I appreciate any and all support. But anyway, my name is Blossoms, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.